Hello, hello, and welcome to the Borealis Experience. I'm your host, Aurora, and I'm very happy to be spending some time with you today. It is Friday, outdoors, it's sunny, it's very windy. I hope the wind is not going to disturb you. So, today I want to talk about abusive nurses. <laughs> yeah. What made me come up with that title? First of all, I want to tell you that if I have lots of respect for one job that there is out there, then it is nursing, being a registered nurse. Every nurse on this planet deserves way more applaud and tapping on the shoulder than they can receive. They're doing such tremendous work. They're rescuing people. They're saving people's lives. And they comfort you. They make you feel good. And, yeah, what would we do? Where would this planet Earth, where would humanity be if it wasn't for nurses? I've had really good experiences with nurses being a patient, being a client, um, but today I want to talk about abusive nurses or the phenomenon of strong givers, people who constantly give and nurture and take care of other people and them now burning out. It is usually people with a big heart, lots of compassion, lots of empathy, who become nurses. They're very well organized, they're very hard working, and they can take on a lot. But what if it gets too much? What if a person who prides him or herself to rescue other people when war is going on outside, if they reach a limit? I feel and to some degree, I think we can all identify a little bit as nurses wanting to help, wanting to nurture. Um, we can reach a limit and then have difficulties communicating our limits, our boundaries. And instead of communicating, instead of stepping back, instead of radically taking care of ourselves, we then turn into little, bitter, abusive personalities. And I've noticed that I worked in the, the hospital and there was nurses who, who were really nasty to clients. And I was just a newbie a physiotherapist taking care of freshly injured people, people coming out of, um, how do you say that, surgery. Um, and yeah, doing my job. And of course, the nurses had to do the heavy lifting. And I feel the system is not really built to support nurses. Like they have to constantly give, they constantly have to be switched on but they have it really hard to take care of, of themselves. I mean, there's statistics out there that the nurses got hit hard with COVID and uh, not only because they were working closely with COVID patients, but because their immune system is not really strong. They work shifts. They... Some of them smoke lots, some of them eat a little bit too much or not enough, and they just have a very stressful environment and are more susceptible in catching viruses and, and illnesses. And to then having to cater to other people, to every single need that patients have, is so extremely exhausting, and I feel... Nurses don't get enough paid and they don't get enough breaks. They don't get enough 
holidays and I really wonder why if we know that the health of a society is built on really good doctors and really good nurses right our society here our health system is all about get sick first and we make you fit after and we rescue you after it's not like out east in India where people are more focused on prevention here It is heavily based on how good your doctor is, how good your nurse is. That's how well you're going to do. And it's tough. Like I feel we need to take way more responsibility when it comes to our health. We think way too often that the little pill is going to rescue us or the doctor or the nurse and think that our health is none of our business. It is other people's business. And... Yeah, that's something I have a really tough time to understand, that nurses are so important in our society, yet they're not given the ideal circumstances in order to have a healthy lifestyle. And so the abusive nurse here is just a metaphor. But yes, I experienced nurses that got abusive with patients because they were just totally burnt out. They just couldn't give in anymore. They just couldn't listen anymore because it reached a point where it was too much. And have you maybe noticed that with yourself at some point in your life where someone all of a sudden was heavily dependent on you and you had to focus on balancing out your life and maybe your children's life and now all of a sudden that other person's life, be it a spouse or a parent, um, whatever you can imagine being, yeah, dependent on you. And then for the first little bit, it works well. You manage to balance it out and you are a little bit stressed, but it's going to be all right. But then the stress builds up and less sleep, maybe worse eating than ever. And the friendliness, the kindness the empathy slowly but surely starts deteriorating. And I notice that with children, with youngsters who feel overwhelmed with their parents, youngsters who want to get out there and conquer the world and all of a sudden one of the parent, parents is sick at home and they have to take care of them and, yeah, There goes the dreaming, they go, there goes the goals, and then the resentment builds up. Um, so yeah, this episode is to remind ourselves that you're not a bad person if you feel resentful towards somebody who's dependent on you. Um, it is totally okay, it is totally normal. But we have to be aware of not becoming abusive and to learn to set boundaries before we burn out. And it is so tough because you will feel selfish at first or worse even, people from the outside will call you selfish because they don't know your real boundaries. They don't really know you because you always said yes in the past. And now all of a sudden you set a boundary and people don't really know, yeah, what's the benefit in for me? Why are we doing this? Well, the benefit is that you can be yourself, you can be authentic, you can be calm and as friendly, empathetic, empathetic, not pathetic, empathetic as you can be when you set the right boundaries. And when we don't set the right boundaries we can become very unpleasant nasty beings who then push people away and are being aggressive with other people and what we really need though is closeness and acceptance and the approval the okay that we can rest the okay that we can sit in the corner and read for an hour if we please to do this. So if you 
ever notice somebody being the very kind and giving person and all of a sudden they become very unpleasant, they become short fuse, they become really nasty to be around. Ask yourself if they have a problem with setting boundaries and then the only thing you can do is encourage them to set boundaries, even better so, giving them space and demanding less from them, relying more on yourself again. Because, yeah, it is toughest when you are in a relationship with somebody who has poor boundaries, but you can both learn or all parties um, involved to give people space to take care of themselves. You know, look at the guy who's the provider, the breadwinner, and he comes home and is just totally exhausted and just wants to have peace and, and just wants to deflate, <laughs> decompress. Um, we have to give space or ask what we can do to support. And same goes with us. When we feel like we're reaching an end, we are becoming unpleasant, short-fused, It is a strong sign that we need a rest, we need a break, we need to radically take care of ourselves, but very gently communicate it to the people around us. So, I hope this title was not confusing, I hope I was able to make the loop back to you, back to us, on how important It is to take care of yourself because if you don't, some people, not all people, but some people can become very abusive, very nasty, not only self-abusive, self-destructive, but destructive for relationships, destructive for other people. Thank you so much for listening. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And if you feel like leaving me a review on Apple Podcast, never hold back. It means the world to me. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.